Hey, what's up guys? This is Shane. I'm in Apsley, Ontario, and I want to show you how to pick shaga. It's super simple, and you only need two instruments. An axe, well, maybe three. An axe, some bags in there to capture your shaga, and someone sexy to film. So I'm going to show you guys right now how to actually harvest shaga. Because I know there's a lot of questions out there, like how do I actually pick it? And when I was first shaga picking, I couldn't find the answers. So I'm going to make it super simple for you guys, and let's have sexy fun. Come on. Now when you're shaga picking, first thing you is you want to look for birch trees. You can see there's a few on the property. Now you could find birch trees that have actually fallen, such as a pile down there, and you will find shaga. And in fact, we've already found shaga on one of them. Dead shaga is okay, because it's not technically dead. Now a lot of people are misinformed on that. Don't read articles on Google. They're totally misinformed. Shaga from all different trees, whether living or dead, carry different medicinal properties. You might find a shaga off a dead tree that has very high potassium, as opposed to a shaga on a living tree which has very high levels of zinc. So uh, let's continue on with our journey now, shall we? Now the thing is, you can find the smaller trees, you'll find smaller shaga. But hey, if you want the mother load, then you gotta look for the big trees. You gotta look for the monsters. And uh, as you're walking, just prepare your axe. Because you never know when a shaga might just jump out at you like that one over there. Come on through. Yeah, Ooh. that's right. We call this El Grande. See that? Now that is Shaga. See how it's black and just pokes right out of the tree? This one's at least 20 years old, the way it looks. Now, why would I come and pick this black sucker? Well, because second highest level of magnesium of any food on the planet, second highest level of antioxidants of any food on the planet. You're also looking at potassium, bromine, zinc, so many amazing minerals and things that we don't even know exist because it takes the nutrients from the birch tree and converts it into a more absorbable form for human beings. Now here's the deal. I could pick this whole shaga, but I won't because shaga has a lot of energy and it actually looks after the whole forest. And on a tree like this, this shaga will just grow back no matter what I pick. But if I pick the whole thing, it could kill the whole tree. Although the tr yeah, tree's still alive, you don't want to pick the whole thing. So I'm just going to pick a portion of it and I can show you right now how to do it. First thing is, you need to make sure you have plastic bags with you or some type of form to capture it. So, I got this. All ready to go. And I'll just show you how to pick a piece of it. So you get your ax or your stone if you're a barbarian. You come over here. We're gonna get it right off the side. You can really get it from anywhere, but I'm gonna hit it right off the top. Let's take a good look. Watch this barbarian go at the tree. You gotta watch yourself. Shit gets in your eyes, you can go blind. See that orange pigment right there? That's how you know this is shaga. You can't confuse that for any other mushroom or any other uh, growth on a tree. I'm gonna get a nice little chunk right here. There we go. Oh, there we go. That was a nice piece right there. Take a look at those orange pigments. Yes. That's shaga mushroom. Here we go. Now you can see here, just come around. You can see what it looks like over here. So we just took a chunk right off the top there. You know, but there's more than enough there. This right here alone, most people, this would last you years worth of brewing. Because most people aren't brewing it every day. But uh, what do you do with it after you get it? I will show you in the next video. But for now, that is how you pick shaga. Now I would take it, get any little debris I can get off with my hands, but don't shake it around too much because you'll break off a lot of the bristles off the top and you want to keep the whole thing because you can brew all of this. So I'm just going to put it in the bag. Wrap it up. And call it a day. So that's how you pick shaga. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and you'll get more videos like how to actually brew this sucker and what it's really known to do for the body. So until next time, you live your truth.